Hi everyone, welcome to day nine of your yoga lockdown challenge. Um, today I have a twist flow for you. So um, it's a creative vinyasa um, with lots of twists incorporated into it. This is really good for detoxing and um, I've done this on purpose today as it has just been the bank holiday weekend. So if you're like me, then you may have just gorge down a little bit too much chocolate and maybe some alcohol as well so this is just a really good way of um, rinsing out our organs um, by doing all these twists and turns um, so yeah just start gets everything really going again through the body so this is a really good one to do if you've had a bit if you've had a bit of luxury over the weekend or whatever then yeah it's just a perfect flow to kind of bring you back to bring your body back to normal and get everything flowing again so we're going to start in a child's pose and do a wide legs child's pose so knees out to the edge of the mat the body just comes down come up a little bit just so we can sweep up our arm and thread the needle so right arm up first and we're just going to thread it under our left arm here we're going to come to a prayer position and this will just encourage us to um, twist more into our spine so using this to push your hands together and gaze higher up to the sky Now we're just going to rock back onto our knees and carry on with this twist. So wrapping the right arm round um, to the right, left arm round to the right thigh and the right arm over the left knee and using this to push ourselves around. And then coming back to all fours. Now lifting up the left arm all the way up to the sky and threading that left arm under the right and then coming to the prayer exactly the same, you won't be able to see me so just do what you do on the other side exactly on this side, pushing the hands together to increase the turn maybe clicking open the back a little bit and again sitting back on the heels and again catching you like this, either this side catching that right arm around the left thigh and using the other one to push yourself round and gaze to the back of the mat. Now we're going to come back to our hands and knees here. We're going to lift our um, left leg out and we're going to need to use the balance here and then open up the right hand and just open out to the back and gazing down the back of the mat. And back to centre. And the same right on the other side, right leg out, left arm forward, sweep around and feel the opening. This might feel a little bit awkward. And back to centre. Now we're going to push up to downward facing dog so our arms sort of width distance, feet hit width distance and push up into our first downward dog of the practice. Maybe making some little waves here, just feeling ourselves into it. Waking up the spine and the backs of the legs. Now we're going to come to a little twist here. So we're going to lift up our right hand and we're reaching for our left heel. It might not get there, so that's fine. Just create this motion of your arm reaching for that corner of the mat if you do manage to grab the ankle then use this to pull against it and you'll just encourage your body to turn high up to the sky and back from center and the same on the other side 
so lifting the left arm and maybe just making the motion or if it reaches grabbing that outer um, ankle and using it to pull against it in increase the stretch even more and coming back to centre Now we're going to bring our right knee to our nose and lightly place it between our hands on the mat and come up to a low lunge. Pushing into this left hip to deepen it up, deepen the stretch. Now we're going to place our left hand next to our right foot and we're going to tuck the back toes under and come into an easy twist. So drawing that right hand all the way through the heart centre and up to the sky with your gaze following your hand up to the sky too. Now we're going to power through our feet and push up to a twisted high lunge. We're going to reverse this twist and we're going to sweep forward and pull back so our left hand, our right hand is coming onto our left Thigh, and our left arm is coming up to the sky. Come back through lunge. We're going to step that back foot in slightly and straighten both the legs. So we want to have about three feet apart. We want our hips to be completely square. We're coming into pyramid. The tendency is for the hips to flat out, but we want them to stay both pointing forwards. We're going to draw our arms up to the sky and then we're going to fold halfway here, first of all. This might be enough for you, but if you can, come down to the forward fold, maybe placing your hands on blocks or onto the right shin, just to really pull your head to your knee, making sure those hips aren't swinging out to the side. You want to, if they do, we're just going to bring them back around into square and really feeling into this front leg all the way down. Now we're going to twist our pyramid. So either place it, if you have a block, then you can use a block here just to place on the outside of the right foot and this will just e give us extra space to elongate or you can place your left hand on your right shin and this will just lift us up a bit higher for when we come into the twist or if you have the space in your body you can keep your left hand on the mat next to the right foot and then draw up the right everyone draw up the right hand up to the sky and gaze up there maybe come in with the fingertips just to get a little bit deeper into that twist We're going to come to a side plank here. So we're going to root firmly through our left hand. We're going to step that left foot back a little bit and we're going to simply twist round and lift up the right foot and then place it onto that left foot or having it just in front for balance or modifying it by bending the knee here if you need to do, be there today. That's absolutely fine. Just really feeling into our side plank, pushing those hips up. Now coming back through centre to plank. And then we're going to do this on the other side. So placing the right hand in the middle, coming to the outer edge of the right foot, and then drawing that left hand all the way up to the sky. Again, taking any modifications where needed. Now we're going to lift that left leg off and slowly with control place it to the front of the mat and we're going to come to our pyramid again on the left side so this is what we call a mandala flow so we're just going reversing what we've done coming back to front so we'll start by coming down into the forward fold again maybe using blocks or maybe coming onto the shin just to be able to use this pressure to pull ourselves a little bit deeper into the posture we want to be engaging this front 
thigh because this gives you extra room to bring yourself down and this will stop the um, hips from, swear, from swaying out to the side so remember drawing those hips back into square engaging this uh, upper thigh and then pulling your head towards your knee Now if you took the twist on the other side, see how you get on, get on on this side. So again, either using a block, either using the shin, or come over onto the fingertips, just to draw that left arm up to the sky, and coming into the twist on the left side. This is a really deep opening, especially on the IT band so if you don't get into this position today then don't be worried about it because it is a very very deep posture and takes practice. Now coming through centre. Now we'll just lift our arms up to come into this variation of our pyramid. Now bending into that front knee and kind of taking our high lunge. And we'll twist the high lunge, so opening up to the left. Now sweeping forward and coming back into our reverse. Coming down into our easy twist, so right hand comes on the inside of the left foot, drawing that left arm all the way up to the sky. Coming down into our low lunge, just sweeping the arms up. Placing the hands on the mat, stepping the left foot to meet the right into a plank position. We'll do the first one, lower knees, and then we'll, seeing as we did those half Chaturanga push-ups the other day, we'll incorporate that into this, just because it builds your arms up better than knees, chest, chin. So we're all lower, directly above your, going to be in line with your hands, and then just lower, keeping the elbows in, lowering to the mat, coming up to the cobra. and then pushing back through to our downward facing dogs. Taking a moment just to come back to our breaths and noticing how our body feels as this might have been the first time a lot of you have got yourself into those positions. So you might be feeling a bit weird, but that's completely normal, so don't worry. Now bending the knees and jumping to the top of the mat. Slowly coming up, as the neck coming last. So now we're going to work through some sun salutations with twists throughout. So um, some of them will just be building on what we've just done. Um, so yeah, just take it at your own pace. If you need to slow down, then slow it down, just come back into it whenever you're ready. So toes touching, heels slightly apart. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We're going to come to a forward fold twist here. So we're going to root our right hand on the floor to start with, bend through that right leg and lift the left arm all the way up to the sky. And lower and then bending through that left leg lifting that right arm all the way up to the sky and gazing up there and lower then we're going to all step back with our right foot into a low lunge bring those arms up to the sky now tucking under those back toes pushing up into our high lunge we're going to open straight out into our twisted high lunge and again reverse it. Now we're going to open up into a warrior two so you'll be flipping your body all the way around 
to the other side, trying to windmill those arms. Bending into that front knee, opening up the arms long and gazing over your left hand. Now we're going to come to triangle, trikonasana. So we want to straighten that front leg, so both legs are now straight. Back foot is parallel or the 45 degree angle to the back of the mat. We want to imagine that we have a, one flat wall going all the way behind us so that we're in one straight line. So our body is going to be pushed up against that. So we're going to push our hips. We're going to, yeah, so if you wiggle them, you need to push them all the way to the right. Arms come out long. We're going to lean forward over that left leg. And then we just want to twist our torsos around so we come to this one straight line with our arms. So now we can either use our shins to get our bodies up straight, gazing up to that top hand. Or if you have the flexibility, you can get the two piece fingers around the big toe and use this and gaze up to your top hand. Quite often when you do trikonasana, your groin will make this funny click and if it's done that, that's completely normal, that's good, so don't worry. <laughs> now we're going to swivel back round into our high lunge. Now we're going to push up and power into this front leg and come up, bring our knee to chest. arms up. Now we're going to come into an eagle leg posture. So we need to bend our left knee and then we wrap our right leg around the left knee, either staying here or if you can, taking the double, the double twist with the foot and sinking down into those hips. Then we're going to take the right arm, put it underneath the left, again either staying here or taking the double twist and bringing your palms together and sinking down into our eagle posture. Now we're going to unravel and with control step back into our high lunge. Frame the front foot to plank, step back to Taranga. Again, either lowering the knees and going down like that, or if you'd like to do chaturanga with me, tucking those elbows into the body, lowering to the mat, coming to upward facing dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Again, just catching your breath back. And just maybe having a quick body scan, seeing how you're feeling now probably a little bit out of balance seeing as we've only done one leg but don't worry we're just about to even it out now bending the knees step will jump to the top of the mat coming up to standing so now we've got the other leg so toes touching heels slightly apart inhale exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift Maybe hands to shins. Now we'll step our left leg back into our low lunge, sweeping those arms up. Tuck it under those back toes, pushing up into our high lunge, then opening up our arms and into that twisted high lunge, sweeping forward in reverse. arms all the way around coming into our warrior two so you're facing the other direction now pushing that left pushing into your right knee keeping it at a 90 degree angle arms coming out long gazing over your front hand now we're going to straighten that front leg maybe shuffle that back leg in slightly back foot either parallel with the mat or at a 45 degree angle remember keeping imagining that there's one long wall coming all the way back, up your back, so you need to be in one straight line. Arms coming out, 
that hips push out, pushes out to the side, leaning towards that front hand and just simply turning the body and then either having your arm on the shin or two piece fingers around the toe and then gaze up to that top hand. In your triangle posture, Trikonasana. Sweeping that back arm round, coming into a high lunge. Now we're going to again push into the right leg this time, power up into our um, knee to chest pose, and then bending through slightly through that right leg, wrapping the left over the right. Maybe just coming to here today, or if you can, taking the second twist, the second bind, and sitting down into those hips. Then left arm comes underneath right, coming into eagle arms, or just one wrap wherever you come to today. Now we're going to unravel with control, step it back to our high lunge. Frame the front, front foot, step back to plank, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. We'll all just come to child's pose for a minute. Wide leg or narrow leg, completely up to you. When you're ready, pushing back up to a downward facing dog. Bending through the knees, or stepping or jumping to the front of the mat. Coming up to standing, head and neck coming last. Okay, so now we're going to come through a sun B variation. So, sit, sitting back into our chair, arms over our left knee and we're going to use this to create a, more of a twist in our body. Come to this prayer position like we did at the start in our thread the needle and pushing on this to gaze up to the sky. Now we need to put all the weight in our left leg, lift that right leg off the mat and with control see if we can step it back into a high lunge. If this is enough, then just stay here. You can lower the back knee as well to modify. If you would like to go a step further, we're going to place that right hand onto the mat, left hand up to the sky. And again, either staying here or if you do have the bind, then feel free to take the bind. You see to wrap that left arm over the top, wiggle the right arm underneath and gaze up to the sky. Now we're going to unravel, all meet back here in our prayer position. We're going to place our right hand onto the mat and we're going to swivel our left foot around and come into a side plank. We can take, we can modify by having the knee down here if you want to or if you'd like to take it a bit step further we can do eagle leg so wrapping that left leg over the top maybe taking the double hook and pushing into those hips into our eagle variation now coming back round to plank lowering knees chest chin or chaturanga upward facing dog or cobra and downward facing dog. And we're going to step our right leg forward and come into a high lunge. And we're going to power through. So first of all we're going to hook that 
Right hand underneath the left, come into our eagle arms. And then we're going to power through that right leg, push off the back foot and come up to our warrior three with eagle arms. With control, step back into our high lunge, pulling those arms up to the sky, then re releasing them up to the sky, bringing that front foot, stepping the right foot back to meet the left, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Just take a moment to come back to your breath here. Bending through the knees, jumping to the top of the mat, coming up, head and neck, coming us. So now we've got the other side to do. So toes touching heels slightly apart. Inhale, step back into our chair positions. This time hooking our right elbow over the left elbow over the right leg, making this prayer position and using this to twist around. Now putting all our weight into our right foot, stepping that left foot back into our high lunge with a prayer. Again, taking the back knee down to foot modify if you wish, or taking a step further by hooking that hand onto the floor, right hand up to the sky, and then maybe taking the bind if you have it, so you might be able to see better from this side. Unraveling, placing that left hand onto the mat, stepping that right foot back round onto the left into our side plank, either staying here or modifying down to the knee, or if you like to take the eagle legs, then lifting that right leg over the left and using it to push into our eagle leg variation. Coming round into a plank, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog and then we'll just come to our knees. <sighs> so we're going to have a little bit of a play around with side crow. Um, those of you who just don't want to give it a go that's absolutely fine you can just take a rest in child's pose um because we'll all meet there in a little while those of you who would like to try outside crow we're going to come up onto our toes so um your knees are pointing forward just in a squat position our hands are going to come over to we're doing left side crow first so our hands are going to come over to the left just like you would be going into a normal crow but you're just turning sideways. And then you need to use your arms again, just like a normal crow as a shelf. So here in normal crow, there'll be a shelf for your knees directly forward. But in side crow, it's just the same but it's side really. So you're using your, you're resting your thigh and your bum cheek onto your, onto your elbows. So again, we can just play with the balance here and just rock and just kind of get a feel for what it's going to feel like when your feet do eventually come off the mat. So even just doing that today is progress. Um, if you would like to come up, then I'll show you how it should look. So you're using your bum cheek and your knee on your shelf of your upper arms to bring yourself off the mat. Now I'll just show you from this angle so you can get a better view of what it looks like um, just so you can alter yourself where needed. So again using that those to lift yourself off the mat 
and coming into that side crow. And now we'll try on the other side. So again, exactly the same, using your arms um, into your bum and your knee and using them as a shelf as if you're going into chaturanga arms and just fly yourself forward. And I'll show you from this side so you get all angles and time to have a play around as well. So lifting yourself up and lowering back down. We'll all come into a child's pose on the mat just so those of you who are still having a go just have time to finish off. Now we'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Bend the knees and we're going to jump through to seated and then come to our boat position. So legs out long, arms out long. Then we're going to bring our hands to prayer and we're going to do boat twists. So we're going to do 20 here. So go. That's 10. Coming out, arms out long, then either staying here or straightening those legs, straightening those arms, maybe wiggling the fingers, and then hugging our knees into our chest and maybe tucking our chin to our chest. 